<laughs> We're done, finally, after doing this 20 times, literally. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do something a little more different. I haven't really had the chance to sit down and talk with you guys much, so I thought I would do that in today's video. I'm just gonna do my makeup, show you guys the products I use, kind of show you my daily makeup routine, and I thought it'd be cool just to get to know each other a little bit more, so stay tuned. So I just washed my face. I'm looking extra tired today. That's always a good thing. First thing I do after I wash my face is I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury moisturizer. This is probably the best moisturizer I've ever used in my entire life. It hydrates your skin like instantly. It's so bomb. I just get a little bit on my finger. I kind of just... I have a mirror like right beside me here. So once I'm done applying my magic cream, I take my beauty blender and my foundation. My foundation is also from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the number two, which is called Fair because my skin is very pale. If I literally use a shade like darker than this, it makes me look orange. It's, it's annoying. But I put it right on my beauty blender. I don't know how many of you guys are gonna think that's weird, but it's a new technique. It's my technique. Also, a lot of you guys have asked me why I started YouTube or why I've decided to start a YouTube channel. And the answer is, well, I've been working with my cousin Anthony um, for about two years now and he kind of has started his own thing in the fashion scene. And I've been his, well, I started off as like his assistant and help him pick out outfits and stuff. And I realized that like I really had a passion for that and it was something I was really interested in. So I was like, why not start making my own content? And then he's sitting over there. <laughs> he's just watching me like talk about this. It's so funny. So I was like, why not start my own content? If this is really something I have a passion for, why not try? This is Anthony. <laughs> I'm like wondering if my hair is gonna like blend in with the wall right now. He just colored his hair blonde. I think it looks amazing. Thank you. I've been trying to convince her to start doing YouTube for so long. She's yeah. like so good at styling. And I was like, yo, I think you would actually have such a good time on YouTube. Yeah. So I'm happy she's like going for it. And I'm enjoying it so far. Honestly, I'm doing it because I feel like this would be another cool platform to show people like what I love to do. And since we're both trying to get into the fashion industry together, I think it's cool that we're kind of doing the same thing. We help each other out a lot. It's a family we're, business. Yeah. This, Literally. We're like a tag team. <laughs> I, I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I went in for that, but it's okay. I thought that YouTube would be like another cool platform for me to like get creative and show kind of you guys like what I like doing. Obviously, if I get to where I want to be with fashion and everything, I obviously would love to style like people for red carpets and stuff, but I also kind of want to be like in front of the camera as well. Like I would love to maybe do some commercial um, stuff for some designers. I don't know, we'll see. Once my foundation is complete, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette 5 Minutes Face on the Go Beauty Glow confusing anyways it's an instant palette from Charlotte Tilbury it has everything that you need in it it's my bronzer my highlighter my eyeshadow my blush so I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm gonna go in with my bronzer I had to decide on a designer to collab with or to work with I mean, I've always been like a huge fan of Moschino. So I mean, working with Jeremy Scott would be literally a dream come true. I love Off-White. So I mean, anything associated with like Virgil, I think would be so dope. That's thinking like very far ahead of myself, but hey, you gotta put it out into the universe if you wanna make stuff happen. So after I'm done applying my bronzer, I am going to go in, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go in with the same brush and I'm gonna go to my little like cheek palette, which is right here in the middle, and I'm just gonna start my contour. I never, ever, ever knew how to do contour and then I watched like a Kim Kardashian and Mario uh, makeup tutorial on YouTube <laughs> and I kind of just copied their, their little thing. So they always do 
we get the cheekbone. And I saw them do this thing where it's like a, th it's like a, a three. So they go like this. They go like to get the contour. It's like a three motion. I am done my contour. Every time I do my makeup, I'm like, I think this is how it's supposed to look like. <laughs> I don't even know. But Kim Kardashian is queen of contour. So if I'm just copying her, then I assume that I'm doing somewhat of it, right? So I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and just blend it all out. Someone asked me the other day if I was single and the answer is no, I'm single as fuck. <laughs> no, honestly guys, like I just attract fuck boys and I'm over it. So I'm just going to rock with the single life right now. Focus on work, focused on like what I want to achieve. Um, and what I'm kind of working towards. And that's gonna be my main focus right now. I mean, that will always come. I'm in no rush, we're still so young. There's so much time for boys and dating. After I blend in my contour, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and do the same technique. I'm just gonna go with the three. What's this called when you do the top of your nose? Ready your nose? The, the, what's Cupid's bow? Here. Yeah, Cupid's bow's here. Right? Yeah, and it's just like the bridge of your nose. Any beauty blogger were to watch me right now, they would be... <laughs> they would hate me. <laughs> James Charles, if you're watching this, he's, you're definitely not watching this, but don't hate me. <laughs> He'll be sis if James Charles comes across this video and watches how I do my makeup, he will be sister shook. Not in a good way. Sister shook, not in a good way. Honestly, a lot of you are probably wondering why I use so much Charlotte Tilbury products. Once you find something that's like good and works with your skin, I say like just keep with it. Especially if you have sensitive skin like me, I have like really sensitive skin. Whoa, that highlight though. I am done with my highlighter. I'm gonna go in with the blush and just put a little bit on my cheek for just a little pop of color. So for an everyday look, I don't usually do eyeshadow, but I'm gonna do it today anyways, just to do like a full complete look. I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm just gonna do this light one here in the corner. I'm gonna do my crease with this light shade here on the left. I'm really bad at doing eyeshadow, except in the fact that I'm shit at makeup and I will always be shit at makeup, but. Once I go in with that shade in my crease, I'm just gonna do the highlight shade and do the outside of my lid. I'm trying to come up with like more YouTube video ideas and I actually, after this one, I'm gonna film a sneaker video and I'm really excited to show you guys that video. Just to change it up, do something else and like close. But once I've blended out my eyeshadow, I'm done using this palette. There's also like a smoky eye here, but I'm not gonna use that today. I need to blend this out a bit more. This is too much. So I am done with this palette. So after I do that, I'm gonna go in with my concealer which is also Charlotte Tilbury, if you guys couldn't guess. This video isn't sponsored, I promise, but it could be. So I'm gonna go in with my Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I know some. I know a lot of people put this on like before their foundation, but the girl at Charlotte Tilbury told me to put it on after if I wanted, just to do like little triangles underneath my eyes. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Like I said, I just kind of do whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> so then I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and just blend that all out. So. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Can you give me like, um, like one second? I just got to close this thing. Can you sabotage the video? And you're ruining my video. 
Are you done? Like with the volume? <laughs> so if you didn't hear me before, <laughs> I'm gonna go back in my beauty blender and just blend out the concealer. So now that my face makeup is pretty much done, I'm gonna do my mess. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do my brows first. So I'm gonna go in with my brow lift pencil. I never ever f used to fill in my brows, but since I dyed my hair darker, I kind of like making my brows darker. It kind of just like matches better. I don't even know. I just like the way it looks better. Um, I've never done anything to my brows either. I've never plucked them, never waxed them, never, never threaded them. I just have a natural thick brow and everyone tells me like not to touch them. So I kind of just fill them in with my pencil. So once I'm done coloring in my brows, I'm going to go on the other side. There's a brush and I'm just going to comb them out. I didn't really start wearing makeup until like a couple years ago, to be honest. Even in high school, I never wore makeup. I was a competitive dancer for a little bit, so I was in stage makeup a lot. But other than that, like I never wore makeup. Now that I am on camera more and I'm doing what I'm doing for work, I do have to look presentable most of the time. So I am in almost a full face of makeup all the time, which is really annoying. Then I'm also gonna use the brush on my brow to just brush out my lashes. I usually have lash extensions, but I haven't gotten them done in a long time. I just haven't had the time to go get them done, so I am gonna use mascara today. So for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Dior Shadow Waterproof. Dior is also really good at giving your lashes like length. <laughs> All right, so I'm done my mascara. Now all I have to do now is my lipstick. So little fun fact about me, I keep my lipstick still in the like little packaging. I don't know, it's like an OCD thing. I keep all my lipsticks like in the <laughs> little plastic things. Don't judge me, okay? So I have my lipstick, I have a gloss, and I have a liner. I don't always use the liner, but I'm trying to do things properly in this video. So we're gonna use the liner. Also, I've gotten like a few DMs on Instagram asking if I've gotten like my lips done, like gotten my lip, like have gotten like lip fillers or anything, and the answer is no. My lips are like naturally like plump, I feel. Like I feel like I have naturally big lips. Um, Plus in my pictures, I kind of like pucker them a little bit. So no, I don't have lip fillers. I'm not against them by any means. I just don't think they're for me personally, but. So after I'm done my liner, I'm gonna go in with my matte lipstick. This is called Hollywood Lips, also from Charlotte Dilberry. This is just like a Charlotte Tilbury tutorial-ish. <laughs> so it's a matte, it's kind of like a pinky nude. It's like really nice on. So I kind of use this like every day. So after I put my matte lipstick on, I'm gonna go in with my gloss. It's like the same as the lipstick. It's just like the gloss version. It just adds like, a cool glossy finish to the lip. Alrighty. I think that's it. All right. Is that it? All right, so this is my finished makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I'm not like an expert at makeup at all. I kind of just do whatever I want or whatever I feel like doing. This is basically what I do for makeup. Like I said, sometimes I wear less, sometimes I wear more. Depends what I'm doing. If I'm going out, maybe I'll put like a little bit more eyeshadow or something. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. If there's any makeup brands you guys think I should try, let me know in the comments below as well. Also, if there's anything else you guys want to know about me, comment it below. I'll answer that for you guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Follow me on Instagram. I post a lot on there. The link will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video.